Kiev slash N O V O L U H A N S K E, Ukraine, fighting in eastern Ukraine has escalated to the worst level in months, officials monitoring the conflict said on Tuesday, after the shelling of a frontline village wounded eight civilians and destroyed or damaged dozens of homes. A Russia backed insurgency erupted in 2014 and the bloodshed has continued despite a ceasefire deal that was meant to end a conflict in which more than 10,000 people have been killed with casualties reported on a near-daily basis. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, which monitors the implementation of the peace agreement, said it had recorded 16,000 ceasefire violations between December 11 and December.17, a 35% increase on the week before. We note with concern a sharp deterioration in the security situation with ceasefire violations reaching levels not recorded since February this year, Chief Monitor Ertugrul Apakin said in a statement. In February, a surge of violence around the government-held industrial town of Abdi Ivica cut off power and water to thousands of civilians on the front line. Apakin said the latest escalation reflected an established trend in which a recommitment to the ceasefire by the sides was followed by a steady increase in the level of violence, culminating in fierce fighting. Apakin's comments followed warnings from aid agencies over the humanitarian situation in the eastern Donbass region, particularly given Monday's attack on the government-controlled village of Novoluhansk. The United Nations OCA humanitarian arm said on Twitter heavy shelling near Novoluhansk was affecting 2,000 residents. People are fleeing the area in blizzard conditions, it said. Eight civilians were wounded and more than 50 buildings were damaged in the shelling, which also temporarily cut power supplies, the regional Kiev-controlled Donetsk administration said. A Reuters witness saw residents picking their way through the rubble of destroyed homes and surveying fire-blackened buildings. The Ukrainian military on Tuesday accused pro-Russian separatists of deliberately firing more than 40 times from multiple launch rocket systems at Novoluhansk. Meanwhile, the rebel command said attacks from the Ukrainian side had almost doubled in the past 24 hours, according to separatist news website Dan. Rebels deny attacking Novoluhansk and say the Ukrainian military fired at the village to justify their attacks on separatist-held civilian areas, according to Dan. In an effort to end the deadlock, the international community, including the United States, has in recent months been advocating for the deployment of UN peacekeepers in the Donbass. Both Kiev and Moscow backed the idea but disagree on whether the troops should be positioned on the rebel-controlled part of the Ukraine-Russia border, so no decision was made. Russia denies accusations from Ukraine and NATO that it supports the rebels with troops and weapons. Editing by Matthias Williams and Alison Williams